as you all might know, the rail is the fastest running dog there is. So it's just something to improve upon if you need a fast dog for hunting. Yes, this can be done. The, the regular uh, lurches combine better feet or more maneuverability in the field or a different coat or whatever. But all that's put aside if you're just looking for speed. And the underground can be uh, quite accessible. So not too rough terrain. Can you still improve upon it? I think you can. There are two ways to do this. If you need a more agile dog, you could go the route of the Whippet, which is a very fast dog, but in a smaller frame. So combining Whippet with Greyhound teams, you get a lot of Peterosis, lighter dogs that are almost as fast as the Greyhounds, but a lot more agile, with better musculature and less weight, which means that uh, they have uh, a smaller chance of uh, getting injuries. But this could be a very uh, good way to approach it, but the other way would be uh, to go to the Saluki. And why the Saluki? Whereas the Greyhound is the fastest uh, dog with explosive power, the Saluki has more stamina and that can uh, result in a higher top speed for a longer duration. So the average speed will increase. And also you get the same with the, the Whippet Greyhound, you get more heterosis. So heterosis, uh, pigeons fighting. Heterosis gives you the benefit that those genes from different strains, eh? in this case uh, Greyhound and Saluki, combine and uh, they will mellow out the drawbacks of each breed and you, can, uh, you will be left with a dog which has almost explosive power. Let's pause it here. So I left you at uh, almost explosive power of uh, the Greyhound and almost the stamina and long range average speed of the Saluki, which is almost perfect for all applications. Also, these type of dogs um, are often very well adapted at hunting, especially for uh, yeah, hares or rabbits. Uh, especially rabbits will be very easy for them because they have that superior speed and you can also catch rabbits with a range of uh, running dog type of dogs but the hare is a different ball game it's one of the hardest uh, quarries to uh, catch and this type of dog can do it not uh, saying that they all can that easily but it can be done and the increased stamina of the Saluki can help quite a bit. So this is a great way to uh, approach this. Another uh, benefit of this uh, multiple generation crosses that you can see uh, improved uh, hunting instinct by crossing in all those uh, type of running dogs, you often see that this uh, gives you increases in the temperament and uh, also hunting ability. It could be for example that the Saluki is, uh, is uh, a little bit more, uh, yeah, more easily uh, uh, stopped from chasing uh, foxes because it is a less powerful breed altogether than for example the Greyhound is. But uh, you can experiment with this and also select. If you do this for multiple generations, you can get the running dog of your dreams. And also uh, the Whippet, we mentioned it quite shortly in this uh, piece, already offers you almost everything that you need in terms of speed but in a more compact frame, which uh, needs uh, less uh, food to eat. And also, Whippet have the, have the benefit that they are quite uh, 
good raptors. I'm not saying that a greyhound uh, based uh, or a saluki based dog, especially those lurches which are a combination of other dogs already, have, uh, have no stance in killing rats, but whippets are more agile and more alert, which is a very good, uh, good thing in um, helping you to dispose of rats. Also, as I mentioned, often other types of uh, breeds are also introduced uh, for a better feed. Often collie type of dogs will also bring endurance and a quite a good coat. Or if you need a real fighting ability, often some wool blood is added, uh, which is also a very good improvement. And uh, there are persons that get almost the same speed with a quarter of wool as they do with a full um, Greyhound. The benefit of the bull is also that you can get some more explosiveness. Eh? So this is also a reason why some uh, like the Saluki bull uh, cross. But then the stamina and, and uh, explosiveness come uh, together quite nicely as well. As an alternative to the Greyhound uh, cross. All these types of uh, running dogs are very good. Why did I select these three? Uh, the Greyhound is the fastest yeah, on the Greyhound tracks. The Saluki is uh, the fastest on average speed. Yeah, especially if it's not that much of explosiveness coming out of the corner every time. And the Whippet is like a miniature Greyhound. It's uh, for its size the fastest type of dog. So those are the three fastest dogs that uh, can give you quite a nice uh, heterosis and bring you this running dog specialist lurcher. A lurcher, many people think it's our only lurcher if you combine a running dog with a, a different breed that's not a running dog, for example a collie or a bull, this is not the case. You can also get lurchers by combining different type of running breeds, which I uh, proposed. In this video, I hope you liked it. The uh, dog on the leash is my Petterdale, 13 months old. His name is Sebezel Estacado. Petterdales are also known as Black Felt Terriers and are not speedy dogs. They are quite explosive but have short legs instead of the long legged uh, running dogs we know and love. So, different horses for different courses. Have a nice day and take care.